Good morning everyone. Before we start the online discussion, let me lead the prayer. Father God, come be with us today. Fill our hearts with joy. Fill our minds with learning. Fill our lessons with fun. Fill our school with love. Amen. Hello everyone. As we continue to the discussion, let me introduce to you my co-member, Leslie Laudet and Judy Ann Bagaan. We are assigned to discuss the topic, Earth, a Unique Planet. Let's start the discussion. First, why is Earth a unique planet? Earth is unique for several reasons. It is the only known planet in the solar system that has liquid water on its surface and an atmosphere that contains a large proportion of oxygen. Earth is also the planet in our solar system or in any other solar system that is known to support life. Scientists study the characteristic of Earth that make life possible in order to know what life-supporting conditions to look for on other planets. Let's continue the discussion in Earth's basics. Earth's basic. Earth is the third planet from the Sun in solar system. Earth formed about 4.6 billion years ago and it's made mostly of rock. Approximately 71% of Earth's surface is covered by a relatively thin layer of salt water called the global ocean. As viewed from space, Earth is Earth is a blue sphere covered with white clouds. Earth appears to be a perfect sphere, but is actually an oblate spheroid or a slightly flattened sphere as figure 1 shows. That would be all for the topic Earth's basics. I'm also discussing the topic Earth's interior. What are the three main layers of Earth? The three main layers of Earth, the first one, crust, the rocky part of Earth's interior, mantle, made up of plastic and the element magnesium, iron, aluminum, silicon, and oxygen. The third one is core, the liquid part of Earth's layer made up of element, iron, and sulfur. Scientists have made important discoveries about Earth's interior through studies of seismic waves. Seismic waves are vibrations that travel through Earth. Earthquakes and explosion near Earth's surface produce seismic waves. By studying these waves as they travel through Earth, scientists have determined that Earth is made up of three major compositional zones and five major structural zone. Why are seismic waves important to scientists? The importance of seismic wave research lies not only in our ability to understand and predict earthquakes and tsunamis. It also reveals information on the Earth's composition and features in much the same way as it lead 
to the discovery of moho or the boundary between the crust and the mantle and the earth. Here are the three compositional zones of Earth's interior. Crust, the thin and solid outermost layer of the Earth above the mantle. Mantle and the Earth signs the layer of rock between Earth's crust and core, the central part of the Earth below the mantle. The next is the five structural zone of Earth's interior. Lattosphere, the solid outer layer of Earth that consists of the crust and the rigid upper part of the mantle. Asthenosphere, the solid plastic layer of the mantle beneath the lattosphere made of mantle rock that flows very slowly which allows tectonic plates to move on top of it. Mesosphere, literally the middle spare, the strong lower part of the mantle between the asthenosphere and the outer core. Oceanic and Continental Crust There are different strata of the earth that are formed by different materials of different density and physical properties. Among the most crucial properties of these layers is their density. In simple terms, density can be defined as the heaviness of the substance Less dense layers float on the top of denser ones, such as the mantle. The oceanic crust and the continental crust are good example of less dense layer. Both float on top of the denser mat mantle. Together, this layer make up the uppermost part of the earth that is collectively known as the crust. Oceanic crust. The oceanic crust is the component of the earth crust that makes up the ocean basins. This part, which has a density of around 3.0 gram, is made up of dark basalt rocks that contain minerals and substances, silicon, magnesium, and oxygen. A unique occurrence of recycling happens to this layer. With time, solid mantle gathers on the underside of the oceanic crust those forming two layers. The extra weight sinks the layer into the mantle, which leads to periodic melting and recycling of the continental crust. Continental crust is the part of the crust that makes up the Earth's surface. In fact, about 40% of the surface of the earth is made up of this layer. The rocks in this layer are made up of light-colored granite rich in minerals and substances like aluminum, oxygen, and silicon. The continental crust has a density of about 2.6 gram, which helps the continents of the world to stay in one place. That would be all for this topic, Earth's interior. Please prepare Miss Leslie Laudet for presenting the earth as a magnet okay next we proceed to our next discussions about earth as a magnet the earth acts like a very 
big with planets. That's why it comprises many pointers. Now, we explore a few interesting facts about uh, Earth, magnet, Earth as a magnet. So, Earth as a magnet contains magnetic field that is mostly caused by electric currents in a liquid outer core, which is composed of conductive molten iron. Loops of current in the constantly moving liquid iron creates magnetic fields. So, one of the best na nakakreate sa magnetic field is yung mga current thing. Na, uh, ito yung mga liquid ang panlabas na core, kung saan ito yung mga conductive molten iron, kung saan uh, through the through the loops, nakakreate kita sa tinatawag na magnetic field. So, the magnetic field has, uh, Earth has two magnetic Poles. The lines of force of Earth magnetic field extend beyond the north chain magnetic pole and the south magnetic pole. The south magnetic pole is located at the top of magnetic field and the north naman is magkikita siya natin siya below magnetic field. In that slow, in that the two magnetic pole is yun yung tinatawag natin na mga antipoidal points. Where the axis of the spherical dipole is intersects the Earth's surfaces. Sila itong kinatawag natin na nag intersect sa aton surfaces sa mundo. Sila itong um, makitatagpuan natin in the, in the center of our, of our Earth. Always have equal degree of latitude and, sim and supplementary degrees of longitude respectively. The source of Earth magnetic field may be the liquid iron in Earth's outer course. One of the source daw sa atin Earth magnetic field is uh, tinatawag nato na liquid iron in Earth's surface. Bakit nga ba ito yung um, one na matatawag nato na source sa atin magnetic field is yung liquid iron? One of the sources of our magnet, Earth magnetic field may be the liquid iron in Earth outer core. But scientists hypothesize that motions within the core produce electric currents that in turn create Earth magnetic field. So, a one of the scientists man na hypothesize um, but one science but Scientists hypothesize that motions within the core produce electric currents that that in turn creates magnetic fields. So, what is it man a scientist and mas nagpahayag o mas reasonable na nagsabi na uh, nakukreate ang tinatawag nato na Earth magnetic field through the motions that the core produces electric current. However, recent recent research indicates that the magnetic field may have another source. But there's a lot of per, but there's a lot of research na nagsabi na atin earth magnetic field is nag-undergo siya sa mga many many sources, sa mga other sources on how scientists um uh, uh, nag- uh, Payag sa kanila mga ano, researcher kung bakit ang uh, atong Earth magnetic field is may ganito, may ganyan. Scientists have learned, and one of the scientists naman have learned that the sun and moon also have magnetic fields. Siya din yung nakadiscover or na, mas pinagtuunan niya ng pansin na ang atong doko ng sun and moon ay igugihap man sa nga tawa, tawag na magnetic field. Because the sun contains nothing iron and the moon does not have a liquid outer core. So, di ba sinasabi natin na yung sun natin is, o oh, ang moon natin is nagakuha siya sa light from the sun. The sun daw contains little, little iron and the moon does not have a liquid outer core. Discovering the sources of the magnetic fields of the sun and moon may help identify the source of earth magnetic fields. So, through the help from those sa ating sun and moon is mas lalo daw kung naman identify sa ating mga source, sa mga researchers, ang tinatawag natin na earth magnetic field. So, in the figure 3, as you can see in last of the pictures, so, according to the earth magnetic field shown in the figure 3, extend the atmosphere and the region of the space called magnetosphere. So, isa daw na region na naka-apply na 
pinaka-epikto sa atmosphere, sa atin space, is yung tinatawag natin na magnetosphere. Why? Kasi yung atin tinatawag na magnetosphere, siya rin yung considered as a shield home planets from solar and cosmic planet particles radiation, as well as erosion of the atmosphere by the solar wind. And yung tinatawag naman natin na solar wind, siya yung constant flow of charged particles streaming of the sun. Siya yung ay siya yung uh, stream na napambabago ng mga kind types of particles na ito na um, nag-streaming of the sun. So, yung tinatawag natin class na solar wind is a stream of charged particle that flow outward from the sun made up of many electrons and protons. Hindi yung mga nagpababago ng mga particles mula sa araw na binubuo ng atong electrons ka protons. Ang mga atong protons po, kung electron na siya ang nagabuo sa uh, pagbabago ng atong mga particles. So, Earth magnetic field, the surface of the Earth from the most of this particle in the region known as a magnetosphere, a shift kung sa constantly shift in changes or response to solar wind. There's a changes na nangyari. We will proceed to the next discussions is all about the uh, Earth's gravity. So, before I start, what is Earth's gravity? For me, Earth's gravity, it is Earth's gravitational force pulls everything toward the center of the Earth. Because of this force, every object on Earth's surface stays in place, in place. Unless an unbalanced force is large enough to overcome Earth's gravitational force. Because Earth's gravitational field represented by lines of forces that similar to magnetic field. So, what is gravity? Gravity, a force of attraction between any two masses. It is not only an attraction between an object and the Earth. It is an attraction between all masses in the universe. The scientist who was the first explained the phenomenon of gravity, which is Isaac Newton. He described the effects of gravity in his law of gravitation. According to the law of gravitation, the attraction between any two objects depends on the masses of the objects and the distance between the objects. As you can see to the picture, the two objects represent the gravity. So what is Earth's gravity. The force of attraction between any two objects depends on the masses of the objects and the distance between the objects. The, large, the larger the masses of two objects and the closer together that the two objects are, the greater the force of gravity between the objects will be. So the Earth's gravity pulls objects toward the center of the Earth. The force of the Earth's gravity is ay, is or tinatawag na width. That's why ang ang width is cons, is measured in newtons or SI newtons unit. Then the width and mass. Why do you weigh less on the moon than on Earth? The mass of an object is a measurement of the amount of matter in the object. If you travel to the moon, the amount of matter in your body or your mass does not change. Unlike weight, 
mass does not change with location even when the force of gravity of an object changes. You can see to the picture the two objects the two objects representing the gravity, the mass, the width and the mass. The astronaut the astronaut with the earth have the mass is equals 100 kilograms and width is equals 980 newtons and uh, and the moon with astronaut have mass is equals 100 kilograms and the width is equals 162.2 newtons the two the mass the mass of the two objects the the mass of the two objects is has does not change but the but the width of the two objects will thus will thus change then try to jumping in the air what happens gravity falls you back to the earth and because of gravity and because of gravity you can pulse you can pulse back you can pulse back into the surface of earth so width and masses right masses is sometimes confused with width mass is measure of the amount of matter in an object unlike width as varies with the strength of the gravitational force but mass does not so supposed to be your your you with yourself on earth to be 506 560 newtons and suppose you with yourself on earth to be 900 newtons but your mass does not change is it is always 56 kilograms so weight and location width va width varies according to location on earth surface as you may recall earth spans on its axis and this motion causes earth to bulge near the equator therefore the distance between Earth's surface and its center is greater at the equator than at the poles. This difference in distance means that your width at the equator would be about 0.3% less than your width at the North Pole. So, sinasabi ni dito na an motion is naging dahilan sa earths of the Vogners to the equator. Kaya, ang distance with the, the earth surface in the center ay napakalaki ng, ay napakalaki of the equator than at the poles. So, as you can see to the picture appeared which is which is the two humans falling back into the earth because of the gravity because of the weight and the location as well thank you